If you like this video, please click the subscribe button so that you will be notified on the next videos which I will post in this channel. Welcome to the future. Fasten your seat belts as I will show you in detail what is in store for the world class Metro Manila subway which will be completed in 2025. The Metro Manila subway will completely change how we will travel not only by avoiding traffic but also by the convenience never before seen or experienced in the history of Philippine public transportation. The Metro Manila subway will usher in a new era in Philippine infrastructure. Indeed, the Metro Manila subway will put the Philippines on the map of the world's modern railway systems. The Metro Manila subway, which is numbered as Line 9, is an underground rapid transit line currently under construction in Metro Manila. It will be 36 kilometers long and will run north to south along the cities of Quezon City, Pasig, Makati, Taguig, and Pasay City. It will have 15 stations between Quirino Highway and FTI stations. Aside from that, there will also be an airport link to the Manila International Airport, which is called Naia. As the Metro Manila subway is still under construction, we will now travel all over Southeast Asia to have a glimpse of how the Metro Manila subway will look like. The purpose of this subway is not only for the convenience of the riding public. The purpose of this subway system is also to convince those who are traveling by car to park their car and use a very fast, efficient, cool, and comfortable mass rapid transport system like this one, which is the Metro Manila subway. Why drive and be stuck in a very terrible traffic jam when you can just park your car and use the very fast, efficient, cool, and comfortable mass rapid transport system offered by the Metro Manila subway? This is a rendition of one of the entrances of the Quezon Avenue station. There will be four entrances, one on each of the four corners of the road. One thing you will notice is that this entrance is very minimalistic. You almost wouldn't even notice that it is there. Since the station is underground, you can even add more entrances if needed and maybe one entrance would be just in front of a hotel or some other building. Now, let us go inside the Quezon Avenue station using this entrance. Once you enter, the first thing you will notice is that this station is fully air-conditioned. As the Philippines is a tropical country, the heat is hot and humid. Tagagtak ang pawis mo kung walang aircon. I mean, you will perspire fire profusely if there's no air con. That's why we need the breath of cool air. All stations in the Metro Manila subway will be fully air conditioned. We are actually inside the Chim Sha Chui station of the Hong Kong MTR. MTR means Mass Transit Railway. Hong Kong MTR is a major public transport network which operates the Metro subway in Hong Kong. Using this station as an example, we can imagine how the Quezon Avenue station of the Metro Manila subway would look like. Let us use our imagination and imagine that we are now inside the Quezon Avenue station. Now let us go to the Twain platforms. We are now at the Twain Concourse. The Twain Concourse is the place where you can access the different train platforms of the train station. 
The train platform is where you will ride the train. The train concourse of a subway station like this one, which belongs to the Metro Manila subway, is a new world by itself. You will notice that suddenly, the train station looks like a mini mall where you can find many shops selling different things. Here you can choose to eat at any of the small restaurants along the way. You can also find convenience stores like this one which is the 7-Eleven. Our beep card is not working. If that is the case, then we have to go to the customer service center who will fix the problem of our beep card. After getting our beep card fixed at the customer service center, we can now enter the Quezon Avenue station ticket gates. After passing through the ticket gates, we will now go down to the train platforms of Line 9 of the Quezon Avenue station. The train platforms are numbered. There are two train platforms here. One is going towards the Manila Airport Station called Platform Number 1 and the other one going towards the Quirino Highway Station called Platform Number 2. As an example, in this journey we will go to Bonifacio Global City or the BGC Station. Since we are at the Quezon Avenue Station in this example, we will ride on the train platform going to the Manila Airport Station which is Platform Number 1. This is a rendition of Platform Number 1 of Line 9 of the Quezon Avenue Station. It has what is called Platform Screen Doors. Platform Screen Doors are doors which open only when the train has arrived at the station. The train platform screen doors and the doors of the train opens and closes in sync at the same time. The platform screen doors help protect passengers from falling into the railroad tracks and being run over by a train. It is also used to prevent hot air from entering the train station so as to maintain the air conditioning of the train station. This is because all train stations of the Metro Manila subway will be fully air conditioned. It also reduces noise of passing trains and reduces pollution inside the train station. It also improves security so that access to the train tracks and tunnels can be restricted and also prevents litter from falling into the railroad tracks which can be dangerous for passing trains. Our train has arrived with the Metro Manila subway Boarding the train is simply just like riding on the elevator. After a few minutes, we arrive at the BGC station. The next station is the Bonifacio Global City Station. Please use the train doors. After getting down from the train, we exit the train platform. We use our beep card to exit the train platform. We are now inside the BGC station which is relatively a big station. 
the BGC station just like other train stations of the Metro Manila subway will be fully air conditioned. To understand it more clearly, we look at the cross-sectional plan of the BGC station. We get down the train at the train platform which is at basement 3. From here we use the escalator to basement 2 which is the train concourse. There is some sort of a mall which has many shops at basement 1. Now let us try to go there. We are actually inside the Kowloon station of the Hong Kong MTR. We use this example to show you how a world-class subway train station which is the Metro Manila subway would look like. Here we can see that a train station can also serve as a shopping mall where you can buy lots of different things and you can also eat at the many of your favorite restaurants along the way. This will be all inside the BGC station which will be fully air conditioned just like all other train stations of the Metro Manila subway which will be fully air conditioned. We are now at basement 1 of the BGC station which is actually a mall inside the BGC station. But that is not all there is. Since the Metro Manila subway is underground, from basement 1 of the Metro Manila subway BGC station, there will be a pathway that will lead directly inside the SM Aura. This is the aerial view of the BGC station which is underground. This is the floor plan of basement 1 of the BGC station which is actually a shopping mall inside the BGC station. The BGC station of the Metro Manila subway will have 9 entrances or exits including the exit going to SM Aura. By the way, in a subway station, Entrance and exit are one and the same and they are normally called exit. There will also be an exit that will lead just outside the market market. That is our simulated tour of the Metro Manila subway which will be completed in 2025. I hope you have gained some information in this simulation of the Metro Manila subway. Thanks for watching and as always, don't worry, be happy and have a very happy trip.